minus 34 degrees Celsius this morning, minus 44 with the wind chill. It is freaking cold out here. Yesterday morning, same temperature, and I buggered up my tractor while I was snow blowing. The, uh, it was okay for the first half an hour, and then the PCV valve froze up, I guess with all the vapors, it was minus 40 or so. And, uh, and then it started blowing oil out of a, I don't know, out of the turbo, I think. And then the dealer suggested I pull the dipstick so it didn't blow out of the turbo. And it was blowing so hard out of the dipstick that it started dumping oil. I didn't see it. Dumped oil all the way to the barn. You can see the track. And then there was about a liter of oil underneath the tractor by the time I got into the barn. So I think I lost two or three liters of oil. Everything's frozen up, the PCV valve, uh, whatever, the hoses. They, uh, so now I gotta wait until another three or four days for it to get above zero so I can thaw it out. Hopefully, I haven't buggered it up. All right, so uh, two days ago, it was about minus 35 Celsius, minus 44, I think it was, with the wind chill. And I had the, uh, McCormick X 4.3 outside blowing snow. I plugged it in overnight in here in the barn and uh, started right up. I was blowing snow for maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Everything was just going great. And then I started to notice uh, down here on the, uh, on, the, on the support for the loader and a little bit up here on the vent, I was getting some oil spots. And I originally I thought, well, the loader was kind of slow moving. And I thought, well, maybe I, with the cold, that, you know, it was getting a bit of blow by here on the cylinder. And, but no, it turns out that the PCV valve and the PCV vent pipe had frozen. Uh, I guess on the other condensation that was coming off the, uh, the oil the hot oil in the engine was condensing and freezing in that pipe and blocked that pipe off. And so up in the top here, uh, where the, I just dropped my funnel, where the turbo um, forces the air back into the intake, there's like a big plenum on the top there. It almost looks like a catalytic converter. And that, it looks like the oil was just puking out of there onto is onto the top of the alternator it was on the uh, you got i've got blankets on here now but it was it's on the on the top of the alternator it was everywhere in here and uh dealer suggested to i mean by the time i found that i was up up at the garage up there so not a very long distance to come back here so dealer suggested just pull the dipstick so it's not creating pressure and drive it back here which I did, and in the process of that, there was so much oil pumping out of that dipstick. I lost, I would say, about two liters of oil out of the dipstick. It came everywhere, absolutely everywhere. You can see it, there's a trail of oil here. It came all the way from up there. And when I, when I started to clean this, yes, on, uh, well, Friday, I guess it was, and it was that cold out, I, I used the snow shovel and it was peeling the oil like ice cream off the concrete floor under there. And then there was a giant puddle of oil. I've got some dirt on there now underneath the tractor. So I just filled it back up, took about two liters. It takes nine liters to fill it, so I was down two liters of oil. And everything is still frozen in there. Um, you can't really see very well, but it's kind of... Uh, Oh, everything is white and frosty. It's minus three out today, but inside the barn here, because it was closed up overnight, it's still very cold. So I put blankets uh, and sheets over the engine, and I've got I've got my heater blowing in there like that. So I'm going to leave that going probably most of the day. And we'll see if that defrosts it. I don't want to start it up too soon and just create more oil blow by or any more issues. So I'll be patient, which is not a good thing for me. I'm not a very patient man. So I'll let that run for a while, rest of the day. Maybe 
I'll yeah, unplug it tonight and just plug the tractor in again overnight and, and uh, put that plug that back in again tomorrow. And I think on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week it's going to be above zero. So I might have to just bide my time and wait and uh, see if that solves the issue. And hopefully there are no permanent oil leaks. So there's your tip for the day. If you've got a McCormick X430 and it hits minus 30 degrees out, don't run the machine. Apparently the dealer tells me on the new machines they're trying to come up with a, a way to heat that PCV pipe. Like I'm putting a heating coil around it or something like that so it doesn't freeze. So they know it's a problem.